Peace and have some meat juice. It's what we love to do. Every Wednesday night we come to give a man juice. Vinny, Bill, Liam, Tim and Glam, two with a DIR crew. Got my slavers, Peachy, PG, and more. Time to mix and match and explore. Filling up our takes we made before. Clouds of fruit and cream we will pour. Shake it up, stir around. That's the latest we found. He's maybe being professional. Mm. Good change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wrong one. <laughs> Welcome to the now. UK Illiquid Mixing Show. I nearly did that then because I pressed wrong button. <laughs> Welcome to the Illiquid Mixing Show. It is a Wednesday night. It's time to talk a little bit of mixing. If you are in chat, just have a look at the top and see if you're in twat chat. Swap it over to live chat, every chat, whatever chat it is on your device, and you'll keep up with everything we are doing. So who you got on tonight is myself, Benny Vapes. We've got our own mixing guru, which is Graham Net Reality. We have our own mixing detective, which is Liam Sherlock Holmes. We have our own mixing maestro, which is Tim, Advocate for Liberty. We have the green goddess of mixing, which is uh, Lady Liberty. And we've got the Illuminati of mixing, which is Mr. Vic. <laughs> I would have said the king of mixing. No, Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have got any um, questions in chat, just bother in chat. If you are new to this channel, because this is why Vic is on, he's just done his Vaping 101, the mixing one. So if you are new, any questions, is not a silly question, just bob it in chat and we will get round and give you a hand. So what we will do is we'll get, before it gets really busy, we'll get Mr Liam that can hear everything and see everything because he's got reading glasses on. Um, to go through chat. Right, tonight in chat we have Hooked on Funk, Ian Thomas, Craig D, Hanky Panky 70, John Vabin Joker, Jack Stephen, Anthony Hart. Let's see, is it, it's gone, it's all jumped again. Oh, you see. It's all jumped. <laughs> well, uh, the, 60 watt, the, the 60 watt guy, the vaping snowman, Billy Lee Rice. Lady Liberty, William Dobson, Ian Thomas, Barry Jones, Rocky Tooney, Andy Carruthers, Leo Barry, Nevins, Fiddy, Dinosaur Sea Liquid, and I believe that may be everybody. What's Nevins doing in here? Football's on. <laughs> Probably getting beat out there, so he's got to watch this. <laughs> and he's giving um, us. Why is Nevin's not in here, huh? I'm sure. And Vapor should... Bunny. <laughs> Bonnie, if you has missed you, just put in, ta in chat dickhead, and we will bring that up and we'll be able to see that he has missed you. So, when we go to. What is good? So, first of all, we will go around and I'll get questions. We will mark that up and I'll tell you that in a minute. William, welcome. Um, right, so what we're vaping on? We'll start with Vic. What are you vaping on? Uh, G Class V2 Osiris 30 millimeter on Peach Custard in here, which is rather nice. Thank you very much. Uh, SX Mini, U Mini with the Osiris 25 Rochford Projects uh, Black Vine in there, as bloody always. This little fella, which I'm rather impressed with, it's the Zlim SQ Pro from Oxford OXVA, and I've got the pre filled OXVA pods, triple mango in this which doesn't taste like crap. Oh, sorry. And I'm actually surprised about that. I'm very surprised about that. It's rather a nice mango that's in this. And, of course, because I'm an SX Mini shell, um, not biased, <laughs> honest. Uh, Pure Max, 
uh, with some of this stuff in it because I still can't get rid of this bloody cough. Drake's menthol NET. Very nice tobacco. Not that I can actually taste it. All I can taste is the menthol. That's it from me. Pass it on. Pass it on. Oh, um, Graham. Okay, I'm on the uh, Quad 21 with the barrels on top, as always. I think I found my perfect uh, thingy. What do you call it? Setup. And in that, I've got Amatorium's um, Glamour with an upside-down label, so I don't mix it up. That's mine because it's upside-down. Uh, whatever that is, God knows. And in that, I've got some lemon I made up, but it it was getting a bit harsh on the throat, so I d- decided to throw some uh, pineapple in there, and it tastes gorgeous. But I don't have the recipe, so I'll have to retry that again. And I found a drag bar lying around, and it's my favourite one, which is raspberry pomegranate. And I'll pass it over to Lady Liberty. Well, I've got the cross pod with caramel, marshmallow, banana custard in that. I've got the Survivor Series Thelma Quest with the goon. What am I put in that? I've got my butter rum pumpkin hot chocolate in that. And then I've got the grus with the recoil. And I have my um, butter pecan pumpkin ice cream. I called it I'm pumpkin crazy ice cream with the pumpkin new, pumpkin. new BSO it. pure pumpkin in it. You it's know, a you can show you know. It's a cult. And you can't. Oh, she got especially yeah, made for her, it. so this is actually kind of like new, new, yeah, new. Yeah, I was testing it because he made it for me because I asked it's for a pumpkin without the spice. It is pumpkin the spice. spice is it's delicious. Delicious. on UK shows. Well, has it delicious. There's no spice, so it's okay. Hi, uh, tonight, uh, this wasn't planned at all, but I do have the Hadron 250C with the Steam Crave Aroma Miser on top. And in that, I have some of my freshly mixed peach custard. Which is absolutely <laughs> delicious. <laughs> and I will and I will pass it over to Tim. Um I've got the orange lemon ribbon candy that I hard candy that I just posted in the the recipe and chat made last night. And that's got and a hat and a hatley on top of the uh emerald green Las Vegas Belima. Then I have the um cocoa bomb, which I also posted in chat. I made up the other day, which is going to be my base mix cocoa for next week. And that's got the TM squared Addy Tunified with on the uh, Guar 21. And then I've got the, I think it's E100i, whatever thing, Geek Vape. And then that I've got the, I've uh, been I... using the uh, Key Lime Cheesecake. And honestly, it's quite delicious. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to pass it to Graham. I mean, no, yeah, I'll pass it to Graham again. Really? Benny, why, why am I looking Benny, at you? Because you aren't feeling well. You said you wanted other people to deal with it. So he's got to tell everybody what you're <laughs> vaping. Has to say what he's vaping on. Yeah. No, go ahead. Graham, why am I looking at you? And I look like nice I'm watching ball. a James Bond film. I don't know. Because he's got yeah. like, you've got half a screen <laughs> missing off. And you're just in like a little okay, thing like this. It's a bit a bit. It's cool. a what? And also, I'm talking... from the shit around in the far <laughs> corners. That you... <laughs> there we go. So, I'm on the Jackaroo <laughs> Mini with the Jackaroo pod. <laughs> and inside that, I've got some of Fruity Tutti Black Crush that I picked up cheap. It's all right. Um, also, on the Gua with the Trilogy on top. And inside that, I've got some of Cats. Never heard of those. Cats. No, well, that's huh? a... May Expo. I found it in a bag. It was in, and it was from May Expo, and they give us it on way out. It's a, I think it's French. I can't read it. I don't even know what it is. Oh yeah, that's French. Yeah, yeah. That's so French. they just give us it on way out, and I've just mixed it up. It's all right actually. It's not bad. Um, I'm also on the Cubics with the um, the cubic the box with the Cubics inside, and inside that I've got some of Macca's RY4 for oh, the juice cabin. Macca's RY4, that's a good tobacco, that one. I, mm. I like that one, this one's my favourites, to be honest with you. Right, so we had, did have a question in chat, I'll get to everybody in a second, but we had William Dobson, what is a good banana concentrate without tasting candied? 
Depends on what you want to use it for. Forum. There's four of them. <laughs> um, I've uh, I've got a banana custard uh, that I mixed up a while ago, and I recently adapted it to be a banana and honeycomb custard. Uh, vape train banana custard is really, really good. No candy notes. Wonder flavors, banana puree, I don't get any candy notes from at all. Uh, those are the two that are in the banana custard mix. Um, I, I know a lot of the others end up tasting like banana foam. Even at LA Banana, banana cream does it. I find Mul is Mullenbury soft banana. Mullenbury yeah, soft banana, really very, good. very yeah. slight. And then obviously there's only one other, the VSO. It's the only other one that doesn't have that. Doesn't have that. And like the puree has a little bit of a spiciness to it if you don't cream it up a lot. So that's the only downside to that one. Banana yeah, custard Mullen ball, BTA, delicious. Yeah, the the Mullenberry soft banana tastes like um, it, it slightly sweet, ripe mashed banana. It's even got that slight mouthfeel to it as well. There's another one as well. Um, it's slightly greenish. So it's like not... Uh, SSA. Great. I don't... Is it the Camobatic? It's not as ripe put... banana, is it? Mm? Um, never put VT Creamy Custard is the best non-banana. Yeah, that creamy custard has got a definite banana off milk <laughs> to it. it it's uh, very, very similar to the banana custard. Fight with that, Nevins. <laughs> Look, as soon as you put in banana <laughs> custard, <laughs> VT, banana. banana flambe, SA, and one of the flavours, banana, banana puree from Canadian Vapor. Pizza will be on about half past ten. <laughs> yeah, because uh, banana custard has a cream note to it, which kind of makes it not pure banana. Banana raw is the only one. <laughs> so yeah, if you let us know what you're trying to mix up, um, William, and uh, we can probably point you in the right direction. Then it's a little bit hard just to say uh, you want to play something. Like... We stop Damn. fucking moving. He's got a new <laughs> story. Fuck, yeah, but it's, it seems to move in the opposite direction to the way it's you just, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done it on other people's streams, Benny. Would you like me to walk out there and slap him? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, like I say, uh, Leo Barry loves uh, Mullenberry Soft Nana. Mm. So, like I say, if you have got any questions, do put them in. Like I say, try and tell us what you are... Um, trying to mix up and then we can give you a hint we, and tips we then. do have a question from 60 watt guy uh how also. can you make reg how can you make regular fruit flavors turn into candy flavors it's one I thing know, load of sweetener. yeah load of sweetener um i find cap jelly candy works very very well um if you want that like uh jelly gummy bear sort of mouthfeel uh the other one is uh flavora Ah, uh, it's disappeared off my head again. It's a uh, candy roll, Flavora candy roll. It tastes like, um, you know, the love sweets that you can buy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That gives that chalky, dusty mouthfeel. There are a few different ways, depending on what fruit it is, too. You can use a few of the Wonder Flavors candies, and it kind of draws, draws the fruit right into it and makes it candy. It depends what candy you It all depends on what candy you're going for as well, though, doesn't it? If you're it going for, like, a chewy or a, a taffy, then obviously you're going to go down a taffy sort of route and add yeah. the fruits to that. If you're going down sort of a hard candy, then you're going to be looking at something else. It all depends on where you want your... Or if you want a gummy. Yeah. If you want a gummy candy, it depends where you're going with your candy. It's, it's a bit hard to say, just put this in this in. Because, like I say, without saying, I want a gummy candy or I want a hard candy or I want a taffy, chewy taffy one there's a little bit yeah you know you need to have a direction that you're going in to get that um it also so depends need... benny on whether or not you what fruit you're using too because some of the fruits work with some types of ways of candying it and some don't so it really depends we really need more details in order to really answer that question and um do, 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 where was he? he did say william um he's trying to get a banana custard so VT banana custard, yes, might be a way to go. Which is, if you don't know, if you are new, we keep doing. I say VT is vape train, yeah. So that's that's where you got to watch out when we're saying VT and that lot. We will go break this down in a little bit because this is why we've got Vic on with doing his one on one. 
Um, we will go microwave. down that route of what microwave. Thanks, Graham. Also, if you're going to do a custard, if you're going to do a custard, drop in a little bit of Bavarian cream. Just brings it up a little. Mm. So yeah. So if you if you'd want to know um, some good Kinder Bueno recipes, um, we had. A second with a Rocky Tuny. Well done for winning the uh, Ricky Tuny. Ricky Tuny. Ricky Tuny. Yeah, Ricky Tuny, not Rocky. <laughs> Ricky Tuny. Um, well done for winning well the win, the Kinder Bueno um, mixing contest, and uh, our own Graham Net Reality finished second. Yeah, technically first in a way. Mm, he was the most authentic, uh, which is which technically should have won, but. Okay. Well, Ralph just tasted a little bit better. Could he add medicine flower dark chocolate in it? You know. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I disagree. I shouldn't have won because the whole thing was he picks his fa picks his favorite. Didn't mm -hmm. we say the closest or anything? We said pick his favorite. And I'm yeah, super but... impressed. He came up with the same results I did <clears throat> back when I sent them to him. It's like I'm making him decide which is the, which is the winner because yours was the most authentic. Rocky's was absolutely delicious, and Bob's was very, very good. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. You decide. <laughs> so. Yes, um, we will look at Rocky's um, recipe for Kinder Bueno uh, later on, I, if you've got I, it now. Uh, Bob's first. Bob? So, is Bob's, do you want to take us through it, Tim? Because you're, you're the one who tasted them all. You're the one who chose the finalists. Damn, that's a lot of flavors. Yeah, every there. single one, by the way, I want to say every single hashtag Kinder Kinder mix. It wasn't a bad one. They were all really good. Um, but biscuit and wear at 0.5, chocolate frosting wonder flavors at 1.2, cocoa VSL at 0.6, cream filling from wonder flavors at 0.5, crispy wafer wonder flavors at one, glamour chocolate mullenberry 1.2, hazelnut VSL at Two honeycomb VTA at one, and then sweet VSO at 0.25. And the only issue with this one was the chocolate, and it, even though even off the shake, you could kind of tell the chocolate was a little bit soft, but very very close still. It was it was a contender for sure. Okay, and the this one, this is mine. As Christy. as I so you, had, you can go over your own. I try to I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I've got the crispy wafer and the uh, sugar cone for the crunchy bit inside the inside the kit. I, I can't say burro, Kinder burro, 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 different contest. Whatever it is. Uh, so that's for the crispy bit inside. Uh, Glamour chocolate by Mullenbury. It's a great milk chocolate. It does have a slight nutty tone to it, but that's okay in this because we're, I'm using uh, roasted hazelnut, which as soon as I tasted roasted hazelnut for the first time, Kinder Bueno popped into my head. That's before any of this happened, anything like that. Uh, marshmallow vanilla, because I wanted to add a little bit of vanilla because all American uh, chocolates have vanilla in and uh, milky caramel fudge uh that's mainly to make the goo make it a bit, bit gooier and that adds a milky caramel fudge is very sweet so mm -hmm. that adds the sweetness so i didn't have to put any sweetener in i did what uh I, tim knows this i wasn't happy with it no. when i sent it to you i really wasn't happy with it i wanted jungle flavors chocolate uh, milk chocolate because that's the closest to Nesca uh, Nestle chocolate. It, it can be slightly dry sometimes, but Nestle chocolate is dry. And I wasn't happy with the crispy wafer and sugar cone, but seems like it was good good enough. And it was it definitely the um, creamy, uh, the milky caramel fudge and the hazelnut. You picked the right hazelnut and that yeah. milky caramel fudge really helped it. Well, in my, in my notes, I put it's all about the goo. It is. <laughs> Neil says uh, sleep time is all. Steep time is only six months. 
<laughs> it was actually 12. It was more like 12 to 14, 13, but yeah. Okay, Tim, do you want to take us through Rockies? Okay, Rockies, uh, Kinder, uh, Rock, Rockosa Bueno, <laughs> kind of. But by the way, he's never had a Kinder Bar. That's that's also a bonus on this. He made this without ever having one. Uh, Bavarian Cream Wonder Flavors at one. Crispy Wafer Wonder Flavors at one. Dark Chocolate Medicine Flower at 0. 0.4. Oh, let's roll it back. Let's roll it back. Dark Chocolate oh. Medicine Flower. Whoa. Delicious, delicious flavor. <laughs> we're, not, we're not all uh, rich. <laughs> hazelnut from Flavor West at 0. 0.75. Pie Crust 101 at 0. 0.4. Which, that surprised me. It was in there and it tasted so good because I was like, Pie Crust, this seems weird. Uh, super Sweet and Cap at 0. 0.5. Vanilla Cream Extra Wonder Flavors at 1.5. And White Chocolate VSO at 1.5. And Gold. this is... This is absolutely freaking delicious. This is an ADV, like, nonstop. And I think that's why it won. It's absolutely freaking delicious. And uh, I say, uh, I think all three of them have got notes on. I, I, I can remember, did I put, I hate doing notes. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, I've turned, uh, I've turned uh, the, uh, something off. I can't remember. I've just lost my train of thought. Uh, one thing I would like to, rocky to do if he could if he could separate that chocolate i'd just do it just do a chocolate Liam, why have i suddenly got two of you what happened there i had two Did, of you my, my zoom has crashed five times in the last five <laughs> minutes <laughs> i wondered what was going on with you I keep yeah that, I, we... oh, sorry go on. oh sorry Graham, go on no go on no, I was just going to say, every time it does, it resets my uh, my light levels and everything else. So I have to keep fiddling uh, around with my lights. <laughs> Has anyone tried uh, Rocky's um, Choco Taco? That's got some chocolates in it. You got to try that, that one. That is so good. Yeah, but I'd love to see Rocky just do chocolate. He just... does chocolate all the time. Check out so but not home. chocolate and something, chocolate and something, chocolate and something. I'd like to just see the chocolate. I think that would be really, really good. Yeah, I'm waiting for, like, not this next show, but the next show after that on my channel is going to be the eggnog. And he had some eggnog steeping. I'm hoping one of them turned out good. He said they probably wouldn't <laughs> be ready until next year. He's Damn not it. happy with them. We got 7,000 people watching that uh, that challenge, which is only going to be good for the DIY community. Um, Sissy, what, what about gummy candy additives? Stuff, does that work? Yeah, it depends, um, on, it depends on the uh, what you what concentrate you're trying to use it on. Some concentrates it'll work, some it does not. I mean, that's why I said it really depends exactly what concentrate you want to try and turn into a candy. He, he likes pear, apple, peach, fruits, like that. Yeah, but that's giving you a. But it doesn't tell you the exact concentrate because some pears will work with some additives, some won't, and vice versa. What were you going to say, Lim? Uh, for those, I I go. I mean. For like peach, you could go with the uh, the wonder flavors, peach peach Yum. gummies, and just use a little bit of those, just to give you that little mouth feel, and then use your favorite peach on top, and you could also, uh, as I said earlier, uh, cap cap jelly candy works. That gives that sort of uh, gummy mouth feel. The uh, flavor art gummy can, uh, I think it's candy jammy wizard, is a bit of an odd one. It depends on what fruit you use it with, and. Um, as for pear, a lot of those end up turning into sweets anyway, if they don't disappear in your mix. That's true. Uh, Neil Pitts mixed a nice cranberry and lemon and lime soda juice last night. Very nice. Um, when does says, I've done a few strawberry and creams, etc., and found the cream added a tiny amount of citrus to make the cream stand out a bit more. Citrus will make your strawberry stand out as well. We'll it's see not very much, yeah. yeah, you'll find it. the strawberry pops a little bit more when you put um, a little bit of citrus in. Um, and like if you're oops. really nitpicking, like that's when I use my Capella Super Sweet is when I'm trying to really bring those fruits forward. That's why I use Capella Super Sweet and a little bit of cactus. That Just works a too. A little bit. A little yep. bit. And uh, people said, I'll try that, William. Cheers. Evening, people. If when you do start mixing, always get yourself super sweet. Yes, 
and start yeah. around about one and then slowly bring it down to like 0 0.5 and you can start bringing it down and down as your taste buds adjust to a non-sweet juice and what you'll find is you start picking out more and more flavors because a lot of people out there will put a lot of super sweet in to hide off notes i started yeah. off without super sweet it was much more difficult to mix <laughs> i'll be honest Hmm. <laughs> I bought I bought this bottle of super sweet like a year and a half ago. There's still loads left. Yeah, because that stuff like you you, you you hardly just a tiny bit. You need a little bit. You, you only need a little bit. Yeah, tiny bit. Um, Unless you're like right. pretty. I'm not well, saying I put a little like bit of juice sweet, so I like it at one percent. Whatever. Yeah, some people do like it one percent. Zero point five, zero point seven five. Um. Oak says, uh, like I said, a bit of cactus. Um, cactus, does it taste good for real? <laughs> and he's put, nope. <laughs> yeah, by itself. <laughs> by itself, it's like an it's like aloe vera. It's flowery. It was slightly flowery, but the whole point of cactus is not... The whole point of cactus is a bit like cucumber. You put it in there to draw up other flavours. That's what you put it in for, especially cactus. It draws up other flavours. Especially berries. Mm. Well, you got the new aloe. Just um, red. Uh, flavora aloe. Cactus aloe. That one there is just like the like the aloe drinks. Yeah. Like the, they're using the aloe drinks. That's actually very, very nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Books use <usually laughs> seven percent sweetness. <laughs> Have you seen? All right, okay, I don't know. A long time no see. Um, right. So, we, as you may have seen, um, if you had a chat. Vic did do the Vaping 101 on the DIY mixing. Um, obviously, this is where he was going down, um, introducing people into the mixing world. Um, there was a few things that you did miss off because you never showed them a calculator, did you? You told them about a calculator. I told them about the calculator, but here's the yes. thing, Benny, right? This is the, this is the trap that I'm in, right? If I showed one calculator, the makers of all the other calculators would bitch in the comments. So I went, I'm not showing a calculator. No, you can think about yourself. Well, so what we'll do is we will we will show every calculator except from the vaping community calculator. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, just just mess out Pug's one. He's an asshole anyway. Look at the chart so, thinking he So we'll start everything. with that. <laughs> what we'll do, we'll start with that. We'll show you um the different calculators, just a quick run through all that. Because obviously there is different calculators you can use. The main ones you're gonna be using is all the flavours, you're gonna be using um illiquid recipes and vaping community so we'll show you them ones first so you get an idea so liam can you uh, go through them for us please yeah yeah i will do as long as my zoom doesn't crash out on me again <laughs> uh, bear, bear with me a second i'll just open them up ready yeah yeah so if you just give a quick um a quick little guided tour is vicky even scottish <laughs> No, I'm actually Texan. My name's Bill, and I'm a truck yeah. driver. <laughs> the accent's fake. I'm probably going to have to log into one or two of these because I think where I upgraded my PC, I don't think I uh, actually logged back in. Well, you didn't realize, Ben, ah, it's a cattle rancher? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That's okay. just a studio that is in there. It's not his house, really. He's just yeah, he's it's in all America. Green <laughs> yeah, it's all green, green screen. Yeah. <laughs> he has to soundproof his walls so that all the mooing doesn't yeah. interfere with his <laughs> Right, so I'll go through. I'll yep. go through the two that I'm most familiar with first. So I'll go. Um, as soon as that one's already open, I'll go with <laughs> eLiquid Recipes Calculator. So you just go to eLiquidRecipes.com. Uh, if you just type in e-liquid recipes calculator in Google, it's normally the first. It's normally the first uh, result that comes up. So once you're on there, you'll see this screen. You can create a completely free account. Uh, you can use your, I believe ben you can actually ben use ben your Google, Google account, Facebook account, whatever, or just a regular email. And then once you're on there, then you just <coughs> click create, create recipe. So you type in your recipe name. Banana custard. Peach custard. And so <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, so uh, you tell it how much you want to make. So, that 
I've actually got mine uh, preset at 60 mils. Uh, my milligram, uh, my nicotine preset at three milligram. Uh, what vodka, vodka and PGA? You don't need to worry about that. That's um, leftover from the early, early years of, early of vaping. Days. Does it's I not PG? water? Do it, but nobody does. <laughs> but it's not water. Don't think you can just add water to it. It was it was distilled no, it's di- water. It's distilled Good water. One. Yeah. Uh, Desired PG, I've got mine set to 30% because I'm a sub own vapor, so I tend to have most of mine in 70 VG, 30 PG. Um, if you click on max PG, all that does is take out the PG part and makes it to the maximum VG you can with the flavors you're using. Now, any flavors you use, uh, the vast majority of them are suspended in PG, so that does affect your overall. So if you wanted a 50 50 mix, then uh, ELR actually adjusts your PG that you're actually putting in your bottle at the end to give you that 50-50 mix. So nicotine strength, if you're using uh, Nick shots, it'll be 18 milligram. Um, or for other people that are able to buy it, 72 milligram, 100 milligram, 24 milligram, you just change that to whatever you want. Tell it what you have in your nicotine because that actually affects the overall weights if you are using scales to mix with which i highly recommend vg content of nicotine and suggested steep time of your flavor uh, of your recipe so you do add flavor so if i type in banana it'll actually bring up all the bananas that are on the calculator so as you're looking through, you'll see there's some very, very low ones. Most of the time, that's because they've been typed in wrong. So they don't actually exist as a flavor. Someone's done, someone's mistyped or it's been rebranded and they haven't picked up what the actual rebrand is. So go for always go for the ones that have the highest um, number of users. So say banana cream. So if you were to type in banana cream, you got Loran flavors, then you got the colorless one, <coughs> and if you keep going, you you might actually see another um, another Loran flavors down in here, or put in as LF or something like that. Yeah, there you go. It's because it hasn't actually uh, been put in the way ELL like it done. But yeah, just yeah, go for the lowercase. That one is lowercase, <clears throat> so it does. It yeah, does. and they typed in banana cream colorless without without the brackets. So you click on that, it'll actually give you a suggested percentage to start mixing with, which is how we do our random our random mixing game every week. So this is this percentage is based on um it's a median of how much is used in everybody's recipe throughout the site. So as you can see, there is over twenty five thousand people who have actually used banana cream LA. So that 4% is, is an average of what all of those are using it at within the recipe. So if you want them want to save it, you just click on save. It's always tagged as a private recipe, so nobody can actually see that recipe. You just click on save, and it'll <clears throat> and it, it'll save it up for you. If you wanted to adjust it, click on the little spanner and click on edit. It'll take you back into the recipe, and then you can add other flavors into it. And that's basically it in a nutshell. If you so wanted to, pub- if you wanted to publish it, you know, write any notes that you think are relevant here. That you got the space for any private notes, so you type in, I don't know, like this recipe tastes like us. Yes. So you know not to publish it. Uh, if you wanted to make it public, you just click on the checkbox to uncheck that. This is a private recipe. It then actually makes it into a public recipe. So everybody then can then go on and see your masterpiece and mix it if they so wish. Master now, ass. But the next one, which I can't bloody see because it's actually, there we go. Okay, so next one is Vaping Community Calculator. So you got to go to vapingcommunity.co.uk. Then at the top, then there'll be a uh, little calculator button. You can click on that. 
And I'm just checking to see if you have to be... Yeah, you have to actually be logged in on this, though, to actually save your recipe. I believe it's the same with the LR. So you have yeah, to create an account. Don't not do that first, because it will erase your yeah. recipe when you go to do it. Yes, you have to... Um, you have to create an account. It's completely free to do so. Just uh, use your email address and set your password. And off you go. Click on the little calculator button at the top. Then takes you through to VCalc, which is the actual calculator part. Click on Create. Again, you type in your recipe name. And then click on Add Flavor. So it's... Slightly different. Uh, so type in, so we take banana cream from uh, Loran flavors. So banana cream. Again, yeah, it's arranged in how popular these are. Now, if you wanted to find um, Loran flavors, you would either type in, you should be able to type in Loran, and there's banana cream Loran. Now, if you wanted the colorless version, you just type in. Now, I think it might be the American spelling. And it should pop up. Nope. No, it's not doing it for me. Broken, broken. You see, this, broken is why we, this is why we don't promote the uh, vaping community calculator. It's broken. Yeah, Pogs, your site sucks. <laughs> but uh, again, it's pretty 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 similar to ELR in that you tell it how much you want to make your recipe. So 30 mil in this case. Your desired VG, which is 70% for me. Again, because I'm sub own vapor. Desired strength of nicotine. And the actual strength of the nicotine that you have. And how much PG is in there. Now, if <laughs> you've got... That. If you've actually got... <laughs> <laughs> if you've actually got uh, nicotine suspended in VG, just change P, just change PG in nicotine to zero, and I'll actually change it to a hundred percent VG in the calculator. And you just keep on adding flavors. I forgot now, to put percentage in. Yes. It it automatically suggests the same it, as the other one. Yes, it normally does. I'm not sure why it's not for me. Let's try another. Oh, Let's go. try TFA. Yeah, there you are. Three point zero six percent. So again, it's based on uh, median. You'll find that the median on the vaping community calculator might be a little bit less than the one on ELR. That's because uh, vaping community calculator hasn't been going as long, so it hasn't had as much data in there, possibly to but muddy the waters. Yeah, it's it's a little bit newer, so it's a little bit fresher, and it doesn't have a lot of um, people putting wrong things in, um, wrong percentages in, so it don't get muddled yes. as much. So that's why you're getting it a little bit lower, um, and obviously because it's not been going for as long as ELR is, it's got got the old recipes in that people are using eight, nine, ten percent of concentrates. So if you are new, you probably use something like this to get started, which will just give you a little bit of an and more than what ELR will. Um, and they'll be using both. They're both very similar to. Yeah. Uh, now, the difference is with this, because I'm not actually logged in, I can create a recipe and then click on create a screenshot. It'll actually give me a screenshot of the recipe and give me a screenshot of this screen here telling me exactly how much I need to mix. Now, the milliliters are for those that are mixing by syringe or by volume. Grams are for those that are mixing by weight. Um, so using scales, which, as I said, I highly recommend. It <laughs> makes life much easier. Now, because I'm not actually logged into this, I can't show you how to make everything public. But when you save your recipe, you uh, there's a little uh, radio button that you can click on flicks it across to make public, then opens it up, uh, opens up another screen. You have to then click on make public in that one, and it actually makes it public for you. Now, all the flavors I'm not as familiar with, uh, especially since they did a, especially Rubo. since they changed it all around. That which... reboot changed a lot. I, I really didn't like it anyway. Um, I had an account on there and hardly ever used it. 
Now, see, I'm going to go in now as a new mixer because I'm going to have to try and I would figure free out. Form mix. I'm guessing free form mixer will be what you're going on, won't you? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I think this is... Add all the flavours. Look on it for recipes, but don't look on it. Don't do your yeah, own recipes think... on it, I think. It's going to be far too complicated because even yeah, just glancing at this, I can't figure out how the hell to do it since they've changed it all up. So yeah, I'll just stop sharing on that. It, it yeah. was a lot less complicated before. They actually made it so that you can use make soaps and stuff on there as well and make recipes. Yeah, well, that's yeah, great, you can do. But can you keep them separate, please? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you can do a lot of on on all the flavors. You can do. Um, a lot on there, and you can do bits and pieces. Go have a look on things because these recipes on there, quite a lot of big recipes, um, name mixes yes. are on there. Um, so just go over if you want a recipe to get an idea of, sign up for it, look for people's recipes. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than ELR and VC just because it's got, like, say, it does other things as well as you can mix soap and, like, um, Tim was saying, you can mix soap too. and the candles and things like that. So it does, um, get a little bit more complicated over on there but they have some really good recipe over there and some really good mixers that have put recipes on there yes um okay. but stick to vc and ela um and then you can get an idea it's a little bit now, easier what one uh one very important note uh, talking about going onto the calculators to actually mix recipes is you don't have to be logged in to actually view anybody's recipe and mix their recipe Nope. But if you want to leave a comment, which is always highly appreciated by the mixer, you do have to actually log into the site then to leave a comment on their recipe and rating. Yeah. yeah so and there's, a, there's another thing which I've been doing. I've been, all my recipes recently have been 60 mils. So to make it simple for new people to mixing, so all they have to do is pour an next shot in and then uh, just duplicate the recipe yeah all, all of all of mine are being 250 mil for exactly the same reason it's nice and easy yeah these other calculators these steam engine which is a little bit sort of no you aren't daryl you aren't mr random mixing yet mate it's only it's early as yet we're not up there yet yeah. um, I mean, we're, we're, it's all going to be pe peach custard because peach custard. the random mixing <laughs> yeah but vic's only got peach and custard flavors he's only got peach custard and strawberry that's it but yeah bro. right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, custard and strawberry, the phenomenal flavour. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so these are there's like I say the steam engine has a, a plain simple one. Um, you have to add your flavours into that rather than pick a list and it don't give you percentages and that lot. ELR and VC are better for that people have done the little bit of legwork for you. It gives you where you want to start off on, um, on there. And like I say, there's recipes on there. <laughs> it has a box of only five flavors in it to choose from, so he's good. Yeah, custard, custard cream, and a strawberry and a banana. Uh, no, no, it's peach. all the five flavors he wants in his recipe. So. <laughs> but, thanks, Hanky. Yeah. So, so these that, um, so that's just a little bit of on the calculators. Um, Vic, so, when you were doing the one hundred and one, and you like say, there's everything you, you're doing on there. Do you think you covered all the bases round and about, other than using Camavatic fucking stuff that we can't get? Oh, you mean like um, that? This Camavatic and uh, well, we that one, agree. and the other thirty <laughs> bottles I've got sitting over here. Uh, the, the, the whole point of it, I mean, it was two episodes I done, and, mm. I'm, and the one, the one two weeks ago was a single flavour. It was strawberry milk Camavatic. Chuck it in, mix it, and it's it's. It's basically to show people how easy it actually is because a lot yeah. of the comments that I see in the Vaping with Vic group and the comments that I've seen in the Kim Novatic Polish visit that i done last year was, oh no, mixing's too hard. You need to do this, you need to do that. And it's like, no, because a, 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 a lot of what's going on, with a lot of what puts people off of mixing is the myth. And it's not just one myth, it's a load of myths. Like, you, you know, it's like, it's too hard. You need to have a degree in chemistry. You need yeah. to know math. You need to know this. No, you don't. No, you don't. If I can mix, anybody can fucking do it. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm, sho I'm, I'm shockingly bad at math. If I had to have math to be able to mix, I wouldn't be mixing. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing what is, because when 
when we first started doing it, it did look complicated, and it was. And we were mixing with syringes, and you had to what yep. warm your VG and PG up, and we didn't use uh, scales. It's... Scales of whatever you do, get some scales. That's that's the big thing. Yeah, is get some scales. It's got to have. They don't have to be massively expensive, you know. Um, don't have to be massively expensive. Just get well, some I mean, the scales, the scales drug that dealer I ones. use, which I can't bloody find now. But those, that, the big um, AWS scales, that was five pound ninety nine on Amazon, and it's a yeah. huge scale that comes with that comes with the counterweight counterweight. What's yes. the name of it? It's like two weights calibration weights. Uh, yes. That's it. it. Comes with calibration weights. Five pound ninety nine. Yeah. Dot cheap. <clears throat> yeah, like I say, you don't need massive scales. I've got little. Um, Little what is it ones, some little drug dealer ones that you can get. As long as it's got a tad on it, and as long as it goes down to zero point zero zero one, that's what you really need to have zero one. You know what I mean? You need to get it so oh, yeah. it's down that low. If you don't, then you'll be stuck um, because, like I say, recipes do go that. Um, <laughs> oh, got to, you just you just come in as SXK UK SX Mini. <laughs> yeah, that that UK. that's me. I'm that's me. I'm just I'm just winding up Hinchcliffe. That's all I'm doing. I know he's just deleting it. He's just deleting message off. <laughs> so yeah, get yourself some scales. Get yourself some bottles. Um, where if you are in the UK, which we'll ask Tim where to get bottles from. If you are in the UK and you're looking for bottles, um, probably the best place to go is where do you get yours from, Vic? Loose Mill. Eye they're bottles. just up the road. They're just up the road in Glasgow. Eye bottles. So eye bottles. What the hell's eye bottles? Eye bottles. I... Bring up the website. <laughs> I've never even heard of them. Eye bottles right. is a company in the UK that deals with different kinds of containers for everything. Um, you can get some really good um, bottles on it. You pay for you pay like thirty p for a bottle, and you pay like ten pence for the top and. You know what I mean, and you can get them in bulk for about five, and you've got three hundred of them. What do you yeah, hell? That's a I, good I, deal. I, I've got the shop. I got the shop up now. I'll do a share screen yeah. on it. <clears throat> right, so this is iBottles.co.uk. So the ones we uh, tend to use are uh, dropper bottles, and you can go in. Uh, they did actually have one on here for uh, e-liquid bottles as well. Uh, that I saw last time I ordered, but I think they might have moved it again. Is it, is it in dropper but, bottles? Yeah, I think it's back in dropper bottles. Now, it was its own category, is it e-liquid bottles? And I think they've moved it back. But, yeah, the, these are the ones that I tend to, that I tend to buy. Benny likes these, those ones, all square ones. These yes. little square ones are really good for posting out. And they're really good for but, carrying in your pocket as well. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's lots to choose from. they got the chubby gorilla type as well which are pretty good um if you've got like a pod system or anything like that i go for one of these ones with the little with the little nibs on the top because they they fit in most uh, those, in the vast majority of them those ones don't those, uh, yeah it's these ones isn't it yeah yeah so how, um, how much is how much is the liter bottles because i'm actually looking for new because i've had those bottles for like two years now i'm looking for right, new so ones. I've got gone into these, going to right. They've only got hundred mil bottles on those. They have got large bottles here. I know they have. I just got to try and find them. Where's the ones that I normally use? I mean, looking at those prices, they are damn good prices. Yeah, uh, it's it's these type of ones, but um, slightly different lids. Because sometimes these Boston type oh, lids can. Uh, they, they can un, they can untwist slightly in your pocket or whatever and go yep. everywhere. Right, that's hundred and twenty mil max. The then ones there, them squeezy. You can do their standard bottles. Are they on them squeezy ones, aren't they? No, when Probably. I've when I've when I've clicked on those, they've uh, they've actually opened. Well, they got those spray bottles. You can spray your coil. It gives you more even distribution. There right. you if you go if you go into these squeezy bottles, these ones here, they yeah. only offer a maximum of a hundred mil. Oh, that's weird. They used to have bigger capacity ones. I they must yeah, have it under a different go category. Down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Right there. Next page. 200. Next page. One twenty. Two fifty. 
Lunch when eh? Uh, the matter move them into um like the easiest down. thing to do is probably you just type in one liter, isn't it? I couldn't find anything for that. Mil, a thousand milliliter probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, there we go. There go. Yeah, so you got the square round clear yeah, that's, bottles. Yeah, that's the ones that you get from uh, Darkstar. Yeah, so one liter. Right. You have to make sure that you order the caps. Yeah. The caps yeah. have to be ordered separately because with the, I know with some of the others, you actually order a bottle, you get a bottle and the cap. With these, you have to order the caps separately. Otherwise, they will send you out the bottles without any caps. Still one but, pound for one pound fourteen. I mean hell for the fuck. Because I bought three bottles. They're, they're old bottles now from Blue Smell. And it was like they were charging something like two pound ninety five per bottle. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a good price. And then the caps. Right, so, uh, and then these the are the caps. Cap, yes. The, these are the caps that I really like. The, the, this that this cap is the one that I actually have on uh, my nicotine. That's what bottle. I've got on my nicotine bottles. I've got them on my VG PG yeah. bottles of them ones. Yeah, but that is eyeballs. So, yeah, yeah so that... you can always reuse your bottles. There's yes. a nice little tip uh, just get some bicarbonate soda, baking powder, put it in some warm water, and let them soak in warm water over the night, and it will remove all the flavor on the in the bottle. Yeah, because the problem I've got with these, you wouldn't see it in the camera, but they're actually starting, because I've had these for years now, they're actually starting to discolor a little bit, which I'm not happy about. So, fuck it, I'll just replace them. Stop sharing. I I'll, clicked on I'll... stop share, but my, my Zoom is crashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Um, so, yeah, so that is uh, free shipping over £50. And uh, like Davos says, you just have a look around and it's in, he says, sauce bottles. I have VG decanted into that when I bought it. And I've had that a while now, that bottle. And I have my PG in that. See, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm lazy. I, I just I just pour my VG straight from this because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, it just I, 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 I've got a bottle. I just find it easier to decant some into into that, and then you can use it. I mean, nicotine has got one of them dripper bottle lids on. Yep, yep. So you can just use it off of there without wondering about. Uh, and then we've got we've got two of you now. You got your twin brother back in again. Yeah, and I look like <laughs> I'm being like blazed by a trop by a tropical sun again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you'll have to get that because if I ban it, I don't think you can come back in. <laughs> no, because nah, drop out. It'll drop out by but, itself. Will it? Yeah, I I have no idea what's been, what's going on with my Zoom. I was in the there after show last last week. I was talking to BVG, and my Zoom just crashed. It's been doing it for the last two weeks. You might need to right. uninstall the actual program and reinstall it. Yeah. I, I only installed I already installed it three weeks ago. It's a new <laughs> PC. And, and in the US, so you can get them at both get bottles at both city. You can use dropper bottles. I usually get mine off Amazon most of the time. Just yeah. convenience. They're quicker yeah, they at shipping. Are, yeah, they are cheap. They are cheap just to buy some. Um, oh, off of there, I bottles is where nearly everybody goes to get get bottles. Yeah, so, I think I didn't it, know that because I've never even heard of them. Yeah, I think if you <laughs> if you only need a hand if you only need a handful of bottles, then it's easier to throw it in when you order your PG and VG from say Lucid Mill. Yeah, or oh, so, so or Vic, Dark Star or whatever. Texas. But <laughs> it, it, if you're mixing in bulk, it's much better to buy them from my bottles. Yeah, you, you can get the postal bottles are really good. Um, the little square ones for carrying around and that lot. You get chubby ones that like them. Yeah, exactly. Is he gone again? Is he back again? He's, He's back, again. back again. <laughs> He's back in the sun. Connor, you're all right. So yeah, so that's where you can get your bottles from. Like I say, or get them from um, wherever you're going to get your PGVG from. Um, there's a couple of places you can get PGVG from. You can get it from Darkstar. Uh, you can also... Flat cap, flat cap 10 for 10% off. Um, you can also get them from Loose Mill. Which, which is where I get you get from. You can also get it from where I sometimes get it from, which is Lubisolve. Oh, yeah, they're a good company uh, as well. Yep, yep. And, um, and you can also get it from where I sometimes get my naughty fairies from. Boots. Naughty fairies. Uh, everything liquid. <laughs> 
No, there's where, where you can actually get the, uh, which is where I pick up my nicotine from every now and again. Yeah. Ev- ev- everything liquid, you can buy VG and PG from there as well. Right. So yeah, you can, I mean, if you're in if you're in the UK, you've you've got a lot of choice where to get your PG and VG. Yes, you've got a yes, lot yes. of choice. Look around and see what prices on. See if they've got any deals on. See if you get any codes. That's Make the best sure thing to do. Sure, it's food grade and yes, grade and purity. Mm. Yes. So what you'd be looking for is that it says on there. I think it says kosher on it, and it'll say all that, and it'll say you know FDA approved, whatever, vapable. Yeah, you can get it from vapable. All, rep- all reputable sites you will get it from will have um, will be the one you're wanting. So all the e-liquid mixing um, places will be where you want it from. The ones where you go into Loose Mill and you go into Lubisolve, they're a uh, ones that do it for everybody. So yeah. just remember to look and see what you're getting. Um, see the only the only reason I use Loose Mill is because they're based in, they're, they're based over in Glasgow, yes. or just outside yeah. Glasgow. So the shipping to here's dark cheap. Yeah, dark exactly. Cheap. Um, the other thing is PG. Wow, I'm surprised. Doesn't... I mean, I would have thought Texas would be more expensive. Than <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it doesn't always say PG when you get it. It will. It may say that. <laughs> Monopropylene glycol. Yep. So that is the proper name for it. Don't think if you get that that it's incorrect, or if you do see a site that says that it's the right one. What you're not looking for is aqueous. Mm. Mm. one on the vg because aqueous is diluted down with water so it's not as thick so so yeah so that's what we you're looking for flavors is another one um where to get your flavors from i know you mentioned one which was east is it easy shop that you like to go yeah to? yeah t-h-e-e the e-cigarette shop they're basically the mixologist now that's what they're called right they're called mixologist we can tell you a few other places to get them from. Um, some cheaper places, if you are starting out, um, to go get some. Uh, you can get some cheap flavours from Rainbow Vapes. Um, they've got some really good flavours on there that are cheap. Um, you can get them for like 50 pence um, over there. Um, you can also go to the Alchemist Cupboard. Yeah. Which yep. is another one. Um, they've got a choice of different flavours, different ranges. Um, but the one everybody's going to at the moment, which you will hear on this show and you will hear other people saying, is Nom Noms. Nom Nom. Nom Noms. They are based over in Ireland, I believe. And what's the code, Tim? Noted, tw- noted 12. Yeah, that's our code. <laughs> yeah. So you do get some discount over there. If you've noted, you get 12. Noted 12, you get 12% off. So they've got a good range of flavours. They took over from Chefs um, as being the, one of the main go-to ones um, for your flavours, basically. And um, I was going to say, speaking of taking over from Chefs, if anybody still wants Northern to get Ireland. a hold of some Northern of the old, If somebody still wants to get a hold of any of the old Chefs flavours... Um, you can go to kingflavors.co.uk. Yes, they've got some news. They've got some different ones. We're looking over there, weren't we, Graham? Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I think it's just like one or two people actually running the whole thing. So right. it's probably taken them this long to work their way through all the stock that they actually bought. Mm. Right. So, yeah, so if you want to find the chefs, do go over there. They've got the chef's choice stuff in. Um, they've got some other chef's flavours as in the concentrates and everything um, but yeah, Nom Noms is the place to go if you're wanting some um, of the more advanced flavours um, a more of selection, just getting them from one place but like I say, do go over to Alchemist Cupboard do go up, Vapables another one you can get them from Dark Stars another one um, there's a few places that you can get concentrates from but have a look around um, if you can't get them from one, you'll have to go to another. If you do want yep. cheap flavours, like say you want, you can get them over at Rainbow Vapes. We've got some really cheap ones, aren't they, Graham? Fifty pence in it. Yeah. For for one, so yeah. And uh, a lot of them are out of date. Don't worry about them being out of date. It, it they need to be quite a a lot out of date before they start losing their flavour. Yeah. The concentrates last a long, long time. Well, I hope so. Don't put them right next to your heater, you know, and don't put them right in your windowsill. You know, that's just yeah. common. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I stole all mine in my tumble dryer. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He washes them right on with his clothes, tries to keep them <laughs> fresh. Yeah. You, you um, see that concentrate that's supposed to be clear? It's nice and dark now. <laughs> yeah. Um should say I priority. Yeah. Um Neil put, just put on is the difference between VGPG and different companies. Philly says not on the PG. PG, yeah, you don't get a lot of difference in PG, but the VG can yeah. VG can be yeah. different on different there, places, there, to be honest with there's you. Two, there's two or three different types, isn't there? Isn't there rapeseed, rapeseed yes. oil derived, palm oil derived? Yeah. And there's a third one as well. And the difference is uh, you'll find some of them are slightly thicker and some of them are slightly sweeter tasting as well. Yep. yep. And that can that's individual companies that can be different sweetnesses. Yeah. I I mean, in, in what we do, I don't think that extra little bit of sweetness or that extra little th bit of thickness makes that much of a deal to the way the recipe tastes. But yeah, it's just something to look out for. <coughs> if you soy. buy VG from a different... Finny says soy, the thing that's the one. soy. Yeah. And if you... Yeah, so you'll find you've got a nice thick bottle of VG, you'll buy it from somewhere else and think, hang on, this is a little bit watery. They haven't watered it down. It's just the way that, it, that yeah. is. It's, yeah. So it's been processed. Well, I've just learned yeah. something new. <laughs> I didn't know that. But yeah, if you do taste VG, it is sweet. Just yeah, sweet. there's a slight sweet tone to it. Slight sweet tone. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend tasting PG, though. No. No. P, no. P, yeah. no. P, PG is very, very bitter. Yeah, so that's very, very, very harsh. Uh, is, is right. Yeah, sugar cookie does fade fast. <laughs> Yeah, sugar cookie goes crystallized on your top of your bottle. Yeah, uh, yeah, goes I've really strange on top of your bottle. Yeah, it yeah. goes flavor, flavor West yellow cake does it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they go crystallized on top with your EPA, on, EPA pancake on, starts on, motor oil, ends motor oil. Don't worry. On on some <laughs> on some of mine on some of mine where the juice gets stuck in the uh, in the nib, yeah. and the nib is, the nib is turned almost black on some of them. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. where it's got a bit stuck in there. Like I said, TPA pancake, it starts black and stays black. You never have to worry about that consistency changing. It's tar when it starts. <laughs> yeah. So, like I say, nicotine's another thing. If you are starting out, you can get... Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Nic oh, nicotine wow. Actually, that. De That's nicotine definitely sugar. can change, too. Yeah. But all you have to do is heat it up a little bit, put it in a little bath yeah. of water, heat it up and give it a shake. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, so nicotine's another thing. If you are starting out, you can get 18 milligram nicotine shots. You can get them from all your local vendors. You can get them from Dark Star if you want a box. You can buy a box of them. Um, you will hear us in the UK talk about 72 milligram. We cannot buy 72 milligram because we are not a company. But uh, we can, It's we, like I can. We, <laughs> can. we cannot recommend a company to go buy it from... If you want 72 yeah, we, milligram. We, we, we can't recommend any company. We can't recommend any companies for 72 milligram. <laughs> oh, with Nick shots, um, I did find, uh, I think it was Washington Vapes. Last time I checked Nick yes, shots for Washington, somebody, they, yes. see, they, they seem They're to the be cheapest. the cheapest yes. ones for Nick shots in Buck. Nimish, if you want to buy Nick shots, we just say Washington Vapes. Um, is the best place to go. They are cheap. You do get them cheap on there. You can get thing. Um, if you do want Nick shots, um, do go over to there and have a look. Um, they do them in a box of tens. I think you can get them. You can yeah. get them from Dark Star. Dark Star no. do yep. um eighteen milligram nicotine shots. I think theirs is about fifteen pound for ten, something like that. Um, we can't get hundred milligram over here at all. So <laughs> all you American people. Can get them over there, and I think you can get them from Bull City and places like that, can't you? I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only seventy-two here. If you are buying uh, seventy-two milligram nicotine, and you spill it on your hands, wash your hands quickly. That's why you should use gloves, people like I yes. did. Right, you got to be a responsible yes. mixer, especially yes. a ham-fisted idiot like me. Yes. Well, I, I use this. I use uh, this is from and wash. Yeah, just basically. Isopropyl pot, whatever it's called. Isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. 
Uh, Scott Bob. Wood got 30 for 12 99 18 milligram ones. 30 for 12 99 that's, that's a good deal. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, have a look and you can get them from there. Um, like I say, with VG, um, with it comes in two different ones. You can get in VG or you can get in PG. <laughs> I prefer to use PG. That's what mine yes. is on PG. For the PG. simple reason, it's easier to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not as thick. It doesn't take as long. If you if you're a bit cold in your room or all like that, it will come out a little bit better. Um, so you can use that, but you can get just look at it. It'll say PG or VG. It's your choice, whichever you want to do. But if you keep VG in the fridge, it's going to take a while while to. Uh, I found interesting. Well, that's what I've done because the one shots I got are seventy VG, thirty PG. Yes. Already mixed, yeah, the so one they won't yeah. water down your liquid. It'll actually be even with if you do 70, 30. Yeah. What, one thing to watch out for um, is depending on the short fill you use, because not every short fill is consistent in that you have to use a, a PG next shot or a VG or, or a VG next shot. Some short fills will vary as to what next shot you have to use with it to keep that ratio. Yep. It's not going to make much of a difference. Most of the devices we use now can cope with 70, 30, 80, 20, fine, especially yeah. even the little pod systems. But if you're a mouth-to-lung vapor and you want to buy a big bottle uh, so that it lasts you a lot longer, it's just something to watch out for. It might end up being a little bit too thick for your tank. Uh, so another, uh, with your um, ELR calculator, it's you have the options to change it to what it is, too. You can adapt that. Pick yeah. the right um, Merrick saying, when 72 milligram, it goes slight yellow. Is it for the bin? No. 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 It's mm. not. Slight yellow. We're not bothered. It's when it starts going really, really dark that you might think, oh, that's. When that's it starts not. tasting like pepper, that's the. Yeah, you, get that is strong, you get a very yes. strong, but, peppery smell from it. When, yes. When, when we say tastes like pepper, we don't mean get your neck shot. And drip on the back it. of your knuckle, yes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. put and, and put on the back of your knuckle and try it like we well, like we do with liquids every now and again. Yeah. It, it's you'll notice that peppery taste come through in what in your mix. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> what he's trying to say is that when you vape it, when you use it to vape it, when you put, make him, when you make your liquid up and you go to vape it, it'll have a slight pepper um, pepper sort of taste to it. Um, so yeah. Don't worry about it. If it's slightly oxidising, we're not bothered. Try to keep it in a dark, cool place uh, or in a neutral bottle so no sun can get to it like these are. Um, I just, when I get new ones, it comes in a bottle, I, I, I just decant it into that because it's dark. You can't, so you I know, put it in smaller bottles, more light I get into it. it. Yeah. The um, trick you can do as well, which is the trick, because when I went over to Poland for the Chem Novatic shoot, they... They basically shipped over five litres of Nick, and it was split between Nick Salt S, Nick Salt B, and Hybrid, and then it was like a litre and a half of just baseline free base. And all I did was I nipped on Amazon, and I bought that little fella down there. A little cheap 15 to 20 pound, four or five litre mini fridge. If you get your Nick shots in bulk, stick them in one of those, they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, but if you do get bulk, if you do sat and buy a big bottle of it, you can keep it in a freezer. Do not put it where your children are. Hello. If you've got children, do not put it in the where the children are. Well, I'd like to know who's putting it. their children in the freezer. Put the children in the freezer. Put the children in the freezer and keep your nicotine out. <laughs> right. Yeah, what? keep it out of the way of children. Keep it up, you know, where they can get to it. And that's what you got to do. Um, anything with nicotine in, keep it out of the way of children. Right. Um, what I used to do when... Uh... When my son was little, was um, I would actually I had a lockbox. I bought a oh, little yeah. lockbox. I put my nicotine in that, locked it up, and then put it in the bottom of my freezer. So even if he oh, did yeah. actually get into the freezer, he couldn't get to the nicotine. Good yeah. idea. Nice. Um, nice. Neil, put it in the freezer. How long will it last? It will last for ages. It will a last long time. a long, long time. Oh, as, as I was saying, that's what as I was, I was saying. Ten years. As I was saying before, Zoom kicked me, or Benny did for funsies, one of the two, <laughs> is um, <clears throat> you have to be careful uh, with smelling nicotine because if you use... <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> That's Benny messing about. <laughs> did Liam even notice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. It, it popped up on my screen. The host has muted you. <laughs> Cheers, Benny. <laughs> so, if... Um, 
<clears throat> if you're smelling the 72 milligram nicotine, you got to be careful because those um, the fumes, nic- nicotine fumes can actually yeah. be harmful. Yeah. I want to keep Avnik in the freezer. Yeah, don't have any food in there. Just put nicotine on it and a lock on it so the guy hey, can get in it. Hey, you know what? You can go buy food cheaper than replace the <laughs> nicotine. Trust me. Yeah. So, yeah, just keep it safe. Um, so that's really oh, yeah, basic. Um, when you come to do a recipe, <laughs> <laughs> when you come in to do a recipe, um, you're, if you fuck up on the first time, don't worry about it. Everybody does it. Everybody on here has done a recipe and boy, the first recipe you've done. And it, if it tastes like shit, start again. Do you know what I mean? Go back to the drawing board. Try and get you know, some that... notes out of it. You know, if you've got, if you thought to yourself, oh, well, that custard was all right, but that rest of it done, maybe the custard's the one that you like. Maybe if Graham talks you into buying the flavorings, like. blame him. Well, that, yeah. that's, that, that's why when I was showing the calculator earlier, I named my recipe ass. It's yeah. because I literally I literally name all of my recipes ass and then change their name when I know they taste nice. Yeah. <laughs> and that works. Yeah. yeah, so don't be disheartened if you do your first mix and find that it's not turned out right, that it wasn't your flavor product, that it tasted absolutely disgusting. Um have a look, look, rethink it. What were right? What were wrong? Was it too high? Was it too low? What did I like out of it? And what didn't I like out of it? And then play around. Come on to shows, forums, things like that. People will help you. Um, you're not just on your own. And remember, yeah. if you are mixing with a cream, a custard, or a milk, vaping it straight away, you're not really going to taste much of it. Get that bottle that you just mixed, stick it in a cold, dark cupboard for about a week, and then bring it back out and try it again. You'll notice a big difference. Big yeah. difference. Yeah. Steeping is another thing. Um, I think you did touch a little bit on steeping, but not just a lot a little when you were doing yeah. it. Yeah, just a little bit. What we mean by steeping is just maturing. That's all yeah. we all we mean when we're saying steeping. It's just maturing your, your liquid. It's leaving it and forgetting about it and coming back to it because the flavour molecules have got to blend together. So they've got to, you know, yeah, mix with each other. Obviously, Vic showed you using a frother. Just shut the fucker. Shut the living daylights out of it. No, oh, no. If you're a lazy shet. fuck like me, get a whisk. Uh, yeah. Get a whisk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All you've got to do is checking it, mixing it, whichever way you find. There's loads of different ways to um, mix the <laughs> once the <laughs> concentrates together once you've done it. Everybody will just shake it. You'll see people who just shake it. Just give I, it a damn I, good shake. I tried, the, I tried the frother before, and I was just no. <clears throat> this yeah <laughs> I just, put it yeah. In and I'll just shake it just shake it yeah <laughs> it's, 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 shaking it helps there's different ways to try and speed up the process but in the end the best way to steep up steep is always going to be give it time see that always. yeah that, that that's where my laziness becomes my friend because i would never buy a frother to mix my juice because by the time i go up from my desk to <laughs> get the frother to plug it in to use it i may as well just shake it there no, but you're doing so just and, and, and by the time you, you get up from your computer, do. go get the frother, come back, you'll be kicked out of Zoom six times. So it's okay. No. <laughs> what, what you need to do is you need to head on Amazon and get a cordless one for get a cordless one for six pound ninety nine. That's what you need to do. Yeah, I've, I've done it. I've done them. Well, yeah, it, or you it just makes go, no or you go and buy yourself a fifteen hundred to two twenty five hundred dollar homogenizer for yes. your lab work, and then you just use that. Yeah, there you go, and yes. you'll save yourself a whole three days on your steeping. Yeah. <laughs> it'll only yeah, take that... you four days to clean it it's okay. exactly <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. We, okay That's we gotta give pressure a little bit little <laughs> you gotta shake oh, it I'm sorry if you're gonna do the press you gotta put them upside down and crooked <laughs> eye contact and, and yes pay attention to steep times and stuff and some like, some flavorings Depending on the mix and what you're mixing with, a lot of times you mix multiple creams. It can take six, eight weeks before that's really ready. Yeah, yeah. Which is, yeah. you know, you you don't think, and it's it can be dependent. And you've used just both these <laughs> yeah. creams before; they work fine in mixes. You only had to wait like a week or two, but yeah, because just, you mix the two together, they make a phenomenal mix. But you have to wait like two months. But yeah, but also, but also, it's done on your taste buds. So mm. if you if you do like it fresh. Don't let people tell you you are wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's taste is subjective. Whatever you think, um, you can do it off at bar. You can do it straight away. But like I say, creams, custards, 
do take a little bit of steeping. You will get the best out of it if you leave it. Um, if you use Capella V1, leave it for about a year. <laughs> what, what? See, now I used to, when I first started mixing with Capella, Capella V1, I used to have to wait for a long time for steep. Now I'm like, Liam, I can kind of ignore that off note and just like, I know what it's going to taste like better later, but I yeah. don't care what it tastes like off the shake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like... yeah. What, what I used to do was um, I'd, mix up several recipes i'd make sure that i actually had a bottle of liquid ready for me to vape i'd mix up several liquids i'd try each one straight after a shake then i'd put it away visit it a week later then i'd test it every week then and then i knew when that liquid actually tasted right for me if it tasted right off a shake and tasted like crap after two weeks then I I vapor off a shake. If it tastes if it didn't taste that good off a shake in two weeks time, it tasted great. Then it was two weeks. I, I call a little BS because I happen to know for a fact that you found some of these liquids you put away for a couple of weeks. You found like a year or two later recently. So I know some oh, of yeah. those got extra steeped. <laughs> yeah, but now now um, I just mix up and vape straight away. I mean, this was a two hundred and fifty mil mixed fresh last. Thursday or Rocky Rocky's right. Medicine flower is good off the shake, but the steep time is really needed. If you really want to get rid yeah. of those weird bumps. <laughs> no, I saw the hair. That hair is awesome. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So these do like say we will visit that. If you do want to know about, cause we'll do another one later on different things. There is other shows to watch as well. While you're on there, there is noted DX that goes through all the single flavors um, of mixing, uh, you will find that on um, DIY or Die channel. Um, you'll find that, and it's got uh, Tim on there that does um, the naughty. They go through single flavor testing, um, so you don't have to. There is also a book out there, a flavor bible by our own Liam. Um, he has gone through how many flavors? I did oh, as well. A I did as well. A thousand on there. So there's about a thousand flavors that he's gone through and gives you all the notes and what he thinks of it. Um, if they're good, so we will drop that in link. Um, and there'll be if you want to get a sort of basic idea of flavors that you can use and what they're gonna talk taste like to give you an idea of what to buy. Um, look at the flavor bible. Like I say, go over to Noted DX and just see that on there. They go through single flavor testing and tell you what their opinion of the best flavors are there when they're doing a different. Flavor week. See you later, Jay. Thanks for dropping in, buddy. Big love. Yeah, we just we just over one oh one over pecan, and next week we're doing on tangerine, and then we're doing a harvest berry and other different mixed berry mixes. On, yeah. uh, but DIY Christmas. die is also really really good for beginners beginners tips. Yes. And he will go a lot of his shorts, which are only about seven minutes long, which are just easy to watch. He will go well. Here's four strawberry. Here's five strawberries, and he will tell you all the different flavors he fills on those five strawberries. And for the most part, you can trust him. But he did make rose milk with no rose, so whatever. <laughs> right. Okay. So random mixing. I think we've gone through nearly all of it now. Um, oh, yeah. We will revisit it. If you do want to put in chat later on, and you are watching this back, um, do. Come join in chat and ask questions. A load of mixers you might have seen in chat talk about things. They'll help you out. We can help you out. We can point you in the right direction. Um, best to come to us with um, a recipe concept, and then we can say this will play well. This will play well. This will play well. Um, it is like it can be a rabbit hole. It can be well, if you let extremely it deep rabbit hole that you can spend hundreds and thousands of pounds on. I'm at the very top. <laughs> Yes. I'm not going down that hole. No <laughs> bloody yeah. way. If you want, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, you can do. I've um, I've, I've got about a thousand flavors, and I'm still saving money on what I would buy on short fills. True. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> so just show, I go through two. And, I'll go through two hundred and fifty mil in about a week. So oh, I'd spend. I, I'd spend a fortune on short fills. Mm. Yeah. I, I spent yeah. a fortune on PGVG in bottles because of uh, the, the noted. Honestly, that's what really kills me, all the single flavor testing. I thought you were about to blame me. I was going to say, I'm not out of base again yet. Close. Yeah. <laughs> Close. 
Right, so we usually do this a bit earlier, but because we've been talking, so we might run over a little bit. Okay, now, overtime, overtime. These lads don't get paid for it, and ladies, but uh, we are going to overtime. Hey, so you told them you know, it's time and a half on what you already paid. So <laughs> exactly, <terrible>. exactly. <laughs> so what random mixing is, is we pick, we've got, um, rewind. Um, so what random mixing is, we um, get them to pick random flavours off of a shelf or, or out of a box or whatever you get five flavors um one can be swapped out to whatever you think will work best um and then what we do is put it into a calculator like the alr um you'll see it on there and we give you a baseline and then i'll say it's between this and this um and then you in the chat pick it we mix it we see if we can come up with a recipe what we're trying to do is make a random recipe it doesn't work all the time I think it's only worked three times out of flipping 15. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. But it is fun. It is a bit of fun. So, Vic, are you doing it tonight? Have you got some concentrates there? I've got a little stack, but it's just a little stack. I'm not like you guys with hundreds it's, and hundreds. It's all right. It's all right. So, out of that little stack, we need you to close your eyes and pick five flavours. <laughs> I'm trying not to fucking knock them over because they're right. Okay. Sweet, Sweet strawberry. Now, these are all Kem Novartic. I'm not sponsored. It's just all the flavor. They gave me a box. <laughs> you go back. I'm going to use half of these. Ooh. Oh, milkshake. milkshake. So it's a strawberry milk then. Depends oh. what you pick out next. Fuck, I've dropped one. Hold on. <laughs> well, that'll do then. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Oh, wild well, strawberry. Going to be a very strong strawberry in this. Right. Give me a custard. Give me a custard. Peach. Legendary custard. Is it custard? <laughs> it's going to be a strawberry custard. That's that's four, right? So. It's, it's, it's only flavours he's got. It's going yeah. it's to it's be a peach, isn't it? Peach. It's going to be a peach. Straight custard. 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 <laughs> so we've got custard, 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 and custard. two strawberries. So this one's probably going to be all right, to be honest with you. Do you want to swap any out? <clears throat> you can swap one out for whatever you want. Or Vic, whatever you want. You want. Or whatever I want. Hold on a minute. No, he's off. He's going to get his peach. He's going to get his peach, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can play around with peach and strawberry mix. Well, that's the thing. Who knows? Mm, Who knows? Uh, see, I, I mean, know. I've made strawberry peach cobblers before, and they were really good. I mean, I've got this. Up to you. I don't know. Right, hold on. We've got sweet strawberry, strawberry, not wild strawberry, custard milkshake, and legendary custard. I'm going to keep the two strawberries. I'm going to get rid of the milkshake and I'm going to replace it with Bavarian cream. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. Because I fucking ran out of Bavarian cream. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to go with these. Screw it. We'll go with these. Right. <clears throat> Damn it. I can't believe I'm out of Bavarian cream. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's the empty bottle there. Shit. Right, okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Hold on, I need to get my scales. 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 As you may see, there's a new uh, e-liquid coming out soon called Fluid. Who's that? Yeah, Never got... heard of them. Never heard of them. Got nine flavours coming out, I think it is. Nine. Some unusual flavours in there. Some nice flavours in there. They will be re They will be released this time next year. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, you're being optimistic, isn't it? Supposed to be uh, Christmas 2025. It could be 2025 at this rate. Yeah, it could be. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, are you putting on um, the calculator, Liam? Yeah, well, I I'm already on the LR anyway. So uh, let me just call it up. <clears throat> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't hit a shout, folks. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Disqualified. If you wonder why it says great <laughs> disqualified, it did go in for the um, Christmas mix over on ELR um, yeah. and um, used the flavour that it shouldn't have flav- done. And then the last week, he showed his second um, back entry me, back in. Up back up, he's back up one, so he's got no to put in. So, disqualified. <laughs> See, I still like my theory that Graham just knew my recipe was going to beat his, so he, you know, yeah. just threw it because he was scared. Damn, rumbled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, uh, so, so you you mix it up five liters, then, are you Vic? No, I'm just checking how much VG I've actually got left. I should have enough for about a hundred mil. Well, is it? Um, Give me Daniel says I, I use juicy peach for go, peach juice, and it came out <laughs> excellent. The peach gets stronger as it steeps. There is a new peach. Have you tried that new peach yet? No, I haven't. A chance. peach. Oh my god, it's so good. Disqualified. There is a new peach out now from Flavora. It is Saturn peach. It's supposed to be excellent. I don't right, know. So it is literally what it was. Saturn peach and the the real fruits like this too, but it tastes almost like you got the skin right, a skin, and like you know where where it's really super sweet right near the um, pit. It's kind of got those two combined together, and then like it's just it's really really good. How much you? How much you mixing, Vic? Um. <laughs> See, my VG's not arrived yet, so I think I'm going to be mixing. It looks like about 100 mil in there left. So you, call it 100. You, you, I was going to say, you can go smaller if you want. Um, Go for 50, just in case there isn't 100 mil in there. I need, I need to zoom okay. back camera in. You, uh, you nicking it up? Yeah, I'm nicking it up. Uh, three mil? Yeah. Okay. And 70, 30. Yeah. So yeah, so if you do like peach, you might want to pick that up from the floor from flavor uh Saturn Peach. Yep. Very, very nice peach. If you do the like whole juice new release, peach. if you get a chance to get the peach. sample pack, get it. It is worth it. This is this is probably the best release of the year. I didn't like the Saturn Peach, but I'm really not a fan of peach and bait, so yeah. Be- don't. it was a very nice release, that release was. Even the one I didn't like the most still worked in a recipe. The snow cream was my least favorite, and it still worked. Oh, I need my jug. Hold on. Kind of accurate. You, you lot it, it, caught me by surprise. I thought it was going to be one of you lot that were going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, needs his, uh, he needs his jug, and he needs his frother. Well, he does realize, though, the only reason we got out of it is because <laughs> BBG. <laughs> I know. I prepared because I thought for sure you were going to make me mix again. Oh, yeah. And I made sure that Barry Nana was way the hell away from anything that would be in here so I couldn't mix it that again because I don't want another cherry. Yeah, I only that. have one bottle of that, but I told her she can put that in her stash. It's okay. <laughs> and I told you that I would bury it in the yard. Without Nick Shot. Yeah, he, he won't be using the Nick Shot. He'll be using it with um, 72 milligram in. Um, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I got legendary custard from Mullenberry as first up. Yeah, so I'm we right. have an average of 4%. So the average is 4%. The average is 4%. So what we're going to do is, seem as he's got all these camophatic ones, we're going to see how far we can push them. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, what we're going to do... Well, is it Mullenberry or Kendall? Well, it's got both the logos on it, Mullenberry and Kemno. So, so I'll, I'll, just, it. I'll just do it all as Mullenberry then. You set up, Graham. It, it, yeah, what happens when you put a nick shot in, it does, um, if you leave it with a nick shot in for a couple of days, it'll taste better. Yeah. So what, 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 blend. what what's the weight that I'm doing here? Because I'm we're gonna tell you in a, We're going to tell you in a second. No, no, yeah. So right. the base is four. So what we're going to do is... We'll take that as a minimum. So we're going to be going between, as Tim said, between four and six. You're going to kill so me. It could be two <laughs> between, and six. Down, between but... four and six. If you can, so for the Graham first one. Graham wanted it high, so, just, so yeah. Just, 
type a number in between four and six. So we've got six, we've got five, we've got they're five. They're all going to put six in. You know for a fact they'll all put six in. <laughs> Le- legendary. <laughs> six. I, I, legendary. I, I use that as seven. Yeah, I, I've used her up to eight. Yeah. Twelve, six. Not a bad flavor to start six. with there. Matt Polly says 6.5, Lou 50% and bids right, for the right, super right. sweet. <laughs> six. Twelve, so it's bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, pugs. <laughs> so we've got six, I five, five, six. No one paid attention six, to that. Six, five, <laughs> five, six, 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 five, five. <laughs> you hunch cat. Everything about for this GT swap box, yeah. Five, <laughs> six wins. I would say yeah. we're going to go 5.5. 5. So we're halfway between because we've got a few sixes, we've got a few fives in. So 5.5, 5, please. What, why are you being nice to Vic, Benny? <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's 2.75 grams, Vic. 2.75. Yeah, five yes. is the only number between four and six, yeah. <laughs> That's true, it is the only oh, number. Yeah. Five. <laughs> um, oh, shit. Okay, I've put 3.1 grams in. Oh, well. Oh, so it. it's going to be up to six. No, well, six then. We might as well take it up to six then. What it's was up six? To six. Well, six would be three, so yeah, you're, you're over three, yeah. six. Yeah, so we'll do it at yeah, six as, then. As I six. said, I'm a ham-fisted idiot <laughs> when it comes to mixing. <laughs> right, uh, ne- next flavour. Yeah, hold on, you got uh, Mo- Mullenberry custard. Just custard. a straight custard, which is... It's the custard. Yeah. It's the custard. Yeah, so <laughs> the average for that one is 2.2%. Ooh, that is low. That's low. 2.2. Got so we're going to push it then. Are we going to be co- what we're going to push <laughs> normal custard up to then? I want 2.4. What? So are we going to take this one between because it's it will load down at 2.2. So we'll start at 3 and we'll finish what? it at 7. Maybe oh. it was low for a reason, Benny. I was going to say it's low for a reason. I know why. No, don't. Oh, you, oh, okay, that's just that's less for Vic. Because this is nasty. That high I, I, I take back what I just said about you being nice to Vic, Benny. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is not legendary. This is not legendary, custard. This isn't that good. Yeah, this is just a straight custard. Yeah. Which? Five... Four and six, seven, seven. Seven, we've got six, we've got seven, we've got hey, seven. I said point five, Vic. I tried to help. Got five. You want, you want five, 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 you want seven. Saturday show? You want Saturday show? I'm noticing this. I'm noticing this. <laughs> so we got a lot of seven. We got a lot of sevens coming through. Yeah, there's a lot of seven. I put point five. I was trying to be nice to Vic on this one. Whatever. 6.99 from Pugs. <laughs> That's not right, Pugs. You have to do it. No. So we've got five, we've got six, 29, 2.5, five, six, well, nine, six, six, nine. Uh, so we, we'll let him off a little bit. We'll go down a little bit because we did have a few seven, we have five. So we're going to do it at 6.25, please. Oh, sorry, Vic. You honestly think I'm going to hit 6.25? What's the, what's with the point two five back? <laughs> okay, so th- this, this is mixing. one is three. <laughs> This is exactly the same as what you just put in for the legendary custard. 3.13. <laughs> oh, yeah, so if you can splash it exactly the same as you splashed last one, you're perfect. 3.13, <laughs> right. 3.13. This is not going to go that well. This will be 9.127. 3.13. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't hit it. Oh. <laughs> 2.6. This is as white as it out. We can't see it at all, right? <laughs> okay, I'm at three. I'm at three point three. Close enough. Yeah, a little over, but anyways. Right, 3. next 3. flavor. This is going to taste like ass. Thanks, oh, no, guys. Well, Thanks. That, that, <laughs> a lot well, steep. You might get some. It actually like would probably them. taste okay in about twenty twenty six. Right. So, uh, wild strawberry from Mullenberry. <sighs> Ooh. So that is at three percent on average. Oh, right! It is a strong flavour, is this in it? Wild strawberry. It yep. is a strong one. So, so between six and nine. <laughs> six <laughs> and nine. 
<laughs> no, because it'll taste like it will too. It'll go funny, won't it? Do you know what I mean? You let them do it with a custard. Come on. C- <laughs> custard's different. Custard, you can let it steep a little bit and add a bit more cream to shit into it. Put, put that one in at fucking uh, while. It just tastes fucking awful. So, what's the average? Three. 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 So, we will go between um, 2.5 and 4.5. I just find it really funny to show about. Well, I'm going to tape on 4.5. Beginning mixes, and this is not how you mix. No, this is not just random. <laughs> this is just randomly made up shit. Is this just for a bit and of laugh? It 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 doesn't matter what weight comes up on ELR. I'm telling Vic is 3.13. <laughs> so we've got four, 4.5, got four. It's a, it, this is a one 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 mix. <laughs> Actually, I'll say something. Five, this smells really nice. Five. Mm. Does that mean you get down three point one three for the nicotine too? Because that's gonna be a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got fours, four. 5.55 best part is when VGPG is only 3.13 I think we're going to go with because it's, it's that I they've got fours we're going to go with 4.2 okay so for this one Vic right. you are putting in 3.13 no, <laughs> 2.1 oh, 2. 2. right 2.1 Oh, no, there's uh, damn it, 2, 2.1, whichever you can get. Yeah, 50 is easy. Just divide by half. Why is this? Oh, oh, oh you're all doing There that. you go. You can see it now. Ah, right. there we go. Switch the backlight off, Vic, you fucking idiot. What, what was hey, the, that's what so much was easier to see now. 2.1. 2.1. So <laughs> Fuck that. Vic is just putting 3.141255 recurring. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh. It's a custard pie. Got it, Rocky. I just... Oh, that'll do you. Oh, that's... that. Yeah, fuck it. Close enough. Close enough. There we go. (laughs) Ham-fisted, have you? (laughs) Right, so... uh, Did you... Go to petrol pumps. Have you ever wondered why e-liquid lines taste different? You know, each batch? (laughs) Vic helps. Uh, What's the the next flavour, Vic? Was it Nectar Peach you picked up? No, we're going with sweet straw. I've got sweet strawberry and milkshake left. Because I don't think peach and strawberry would mix all that well with a custard, to be honest. Would it ten percent? <laughs> <laughs> right. So sweet strawberry mullenberry, the average is three percent. Ooh. So we go between two and four. Two and four. only four. Wow. Yeah. Between two and four. And this one here can be pushed higher and not be go weird. Yeah, I, I agree with Vic. Peach and strawberry doesn't mix it together at all. Well, nope, yeah. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, but that strawberry ripe. <laughs> that's ripe, though. This is wild. <laughs> now you can see the screen. Four, 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 <laughs> four, three, four, four, two. I was putting through. Oh, four. thanks, Bob. Four. Yeah, they're all just going for max. That's what they're doing. Yeah, we'll go for four. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, so four uh, percent would be two grams. Oh, bang on two, which I'll, which I won't hit. <laughs> Stop this niceness. <laughs> so, so th- this is going to be two point six. <laughs> two grams, right? Two yes. grams. His camera's turned into the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go there. No, who's behind you? Don't What's go in the van behind numbers, you. <laughs> get that, get that 1.93. Have I had it? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, uh, last one. Mullenberry milkshake is at 3%. Ooh, ooh, oh, so, so, it's at three, did you say? Yes, the average is three. The average is three. So, oh, like 3.14. Like, 
Yeah, we like Horrible a little percent. bit of a, um, a, a, a milky custard. Don't we want like all, the malt in this. all the multi custard. All the multi yes. custard. Yeah, yeah. So we like that multiness. So you're going to be going between three four and, and four and six. Three, not three and six. Between this, three and six. This is going only to... one number there mattered. <laughs> three and six, please. Yeah, I can see this muting. You know, you go, oh, that's nice. That's nice, and the flavor's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six. Six. Go in the teens. Pug says, "Go in the teens." We can't do that to him. See that, Pug? See that right there? <laughs> six, six, five. Oh, bunnies! Being... For fuck's sake, six, six, five, six, <laughs> six, 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 six
Wayne. This is where he finds out he's only got 25, 25 <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. mil of PG left. <laughs> yeah. So he's vaping a 40% made 7 milligram pods, mix. Made for pods. So how do you wind up going? Oh, no, not bad. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You're done. That's it. So, so all I need to do is just it. basically... Wait. Matt Polly just... says, wait. Wait. What? Wait. We don't know. forgot wait. to ask sweetener or no sweetener. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yes. Super sweet. So, no, no, I didn't. I didn't pick super sweet, so you can't. No, 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 we can. No, we can. We decided we to ask, put it in. We do. Hat. We asked the chat now. Chat decide. Super sweet on sweetener. So sweetener or no sweetener? It is X one for sweetener, X two for no sweetener. X one for oh. sweetener, X two for no sweetener. You know this is going to be X. This is going to be X ones all through the chat. Oh, thanks, Graham. Go <laughs> <laughs> bring out so, the strawberry. X1, oh, true, bring or the strawberry. X2. No. X1, sweetener. X2, no sweetener. <laughs> Matt says, chat fix, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, Vic, uh, this will be really interesting because you've done everything in such a strange way. Are you going to shake it in that container? Because that'd be fun. <laughs> I'm probably going to whisk it. So we've got X1, X2, X2, X2. Be like, well, so that split was, mix. see? What's left in here tastes X1, good. <laughs> X1, Pogs, get off that key. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got? One, two, oh, three... Four, five, six. I I seven, X one twenty three times, Benny. Eight, eight. Oh, for see, that's X1. actually that's actually smells quite nice. We got one, two. Make him rub it into his eyes. Five pugs. <laughs> five, six, <laughs> six. Sweetener, it is sweetener. Fuck. How you, get to you, the percentage. you get to choose the percentage, though. So oh, I get to it. choose it. Yeah, yeah. your percentage, okay. yes. So you use this it really only, low. This is only 50 mil, so it's going to be really fucking low. And the point, and the point zeros? Yes. I'd say uh, I'd, I, I do 1, 0. 0.5 myself. Like, I do 0. 0.25 for that mix. Yeah. Just bring out the strawberry out. I was point thinking the same thing, Graham. Yeah. Just bring, not to bring the strawberry away from the custard. 0. 0.25 yeah. as then. Capella. Yeah, so, okay. So, so ENR says it's 3.13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> sure. Sure it does, Liam. <laughs> 0. 0.25, right? Hold on, it's a cap off, caps off. So, uh, it'll be zero, it, it's either going to be 0. 0.12 or 0. 0.13. Yeah, 0. 0. 0.125. Oh, 0. Point, what? what? You're confusing 0. me. 0. Now. 0.125 is the actual amount, so you can go <laughs> over. Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, ELR is rounded it out to 0. 0.13. Oh, oh Gardy went all way over, he doubled it. Oh, oh, oh. He's at 0. 0.5. He, he, He's at 0.5. Yeah, that'll do 0.5. That'll I'm do. I'm past the daddy yet. I'm past the daddy yet. Right, I'm going to have to adjust this because I don't think it's going to let me save this as it is. Um, so take it, sometimes it's... super sweet, you'll be surprised that it does bring out um, a little bit of, uh, like we're saying with strawberries and things like that, it will pop a little bit, just adding a little bit. So you just try it. I know you would say you don't use it anymore, but just try it Oh, sometime. no, I use, I use it for my custards now and again. Yeah, no, I was just saying oh, I don't use in any sweetness. There's plenty of custard in this. There's Jake. loads of custard in it. So here we go. Where's my whisk? Man. See, this you is what I'm right down. Down. Yeah, you it. It. Like, <laughs> If you're fucking getting out of box, you could have shook it and be vaping it now. <laughs> here, here goes Vic. Vic now he's going to whisk it up and he's going to... <laughs> this is when he wakes it, wakes it up I'm and realizes he's got it all drilled. Tastes a little, a little bit goopy. But <laughs> I, I, I vote the name should be Daswegian Strawberry Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we need a name now. If anybody can put names in, what we can give it, please. So we've got Liam's putting Glaswegian Strawberry Kiss. So put your names in chat. That'd be fantastic. And we'll pick 
want to call it. How's that looking? Is that that's going to be a hell of a lung puncher? That's looking good. <clears throat> right. Where's my wee bottle? There's my wee bottle. My wee bottle. Use a wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say something that actually smells quite good. So we've got Kissed by a Strawberry Custard, Custard's Glob Surprise, Joker's Delight, Court Jester, go with a classic royalty theme, Not Jock Vape Juice. <laughs> yeah, Vic Miss. <laughs> fucking say, all right, Mick, you're all right, mate. You were in earlier. Vic fucking Mess, Gnome Surprise. <laughs> actually, it does smell good. Do I have a dropper ready? No, I don't. I'm going to have to whack up a dropper. Okay, back to the table, Cam. Get rid of you. Oh, Creamy star dick. <laughs> Smash you off, you fucker. There we go. Uh, with the way he was pouring it in there, I think oops has to be in the name. <laughs> oh, because it's <laughs> strawberry fuck's sake. <laughs> Grotty Scotty short ass strawberry lunches. Inch <laughs> eye private eye mess. <laughs> Fuck you, pugs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was Coil that said that. <laughs> Oh, was it coil that said yeah. <laughs> Gnome strawberry kiss. I think there's a theme with uh, Vic tried. Vic Toria custard slice. Oops, I've dripped it again. <laughs> Cheats revenge. <laughs> strawberry mulky. Okay, after, a long steep, uh, after a long steep, this might actually not... Custard fingers. <laughs> Manual oh, law. 17 Celsius continues. You have to get back to us in 2026 and sit, let us know how to turn custard. <laughs> so I quite like we're going to have Gnome in it. Fucking seeing as it's coming, battery. Seriously? Seeing as it's coming up to uh, Christmassy time, we'll have a, we'll call it a gonk instead of a gnome. Okay. <laughs> so we'll have gonk. Let's have a look. Gonk. Straw dick. Fuck's sake. What? <laughs> okay. Good. Not again. That? Um, that's God money. Let's wipe this up. Have you got that, Liam? Right. So, what's it being called? Gonk. Yep. Gonk. Straw dick. Fuck's sake. Yep. Gonk. Straw dick. Fuck's sake. There we go. Oh God, it's turned into a build stream. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a, I didn't have a dropper ready. I thought I did, but the the two the two goons are getting cleaned out in the ultrasonic. Yeah. Now I didn't have his dripper ready, but he didn't even have batteries. <laughs> Anytime I see a build stream on a, a show, I'm just like, <laughs> what's that inside me? Yeah. Snappy, snappy. Where's my tweezers? What we need now is a press button while he's doing it. He's <laughs> fucking burnt corner start again. <laughs> <laughs> Shill fluid. Fluid will be oh, out fluid. shortly. So there is a um, a new e-liquid coming out called Fluid. It will be out shortly. We're not sure when, but it will be out shortly. Ask okay. us again in summer and we'll tell you. Is it scaring you yet? Actually, it smells good, but smell does not represent the taste. And that is now live on ELR. I'm curious on what it's going to be like off this shake, but I mean, I bet you have to... Just bear in mind, it. this is just this is just a play around. It's not a proper mix. If you do want to mix it, do lower the percentages down um, to where you're at. Oh, it might actually work in a pod system. <laughs> it's high enough. There. So okay. I'm not a mixer. I used to use sweetener. I have them all of them. I find it changes some flavors sometimes, goes sometimes. Yeah, mate, sometimes it does, yeah. Asgard, oh. many. There we go. 90 watts, couple of state, couple of um <clears throat> fuse claptons in here. 200 watts. <laughs> He's not looking upset. <laughs> Actually, no. that's Actually quite nice. Damn. <laughs> I will say though it does. You can you can tell it needs steeped. Yeah, because it, I'm it, getting it, a, it, I'm getting a load of strawberry and not much custard. Yeah, I, I was going to say let, let's face it, strawberry custard. Not a lot's going to go wrong with that. No, not really, is it? No, <laughs> that's actually quite good. That. So is it? 
Yeah. You know what? I might end up keeping that recipe and mixing it myself later on. Oh, yeah. He's sending it off to. I have to look back at the. <laughs> yeah. <actual procedure. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'll be the joke. Oh, that was seven of yeah. hearts. The rest of it's sitting in here. I'm going to pop this in a cupboard for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Get back to that. Like I say, that'll up. be the that'll be the seven and a half, seven and a, seven of hearts, won't it? So, right, we are coming up to the end of the show. We have give you some overtime. We would like to shout out vape gems before we before we wrap it up. There is a new e liquid um line. Uh, e liquid line. He liquid. Um, I don't know. Got a store? Would you call it a store? A new store? A, a new, new store, store on the show? Yeah. A new store on the market that's doing some of the best UK branded e liquids out there. Um, it is called Vape Gems. It's run by our very own Graham. Um, if you just want to bring them up and show them what we've got, right quickly. No, uh, just pop over to vapegems.co.uk and uh, there you can get shy tots. Legion OX, you can get Vix Pe- Peach Custard, which is currently the second best selling one on the site. Uh, you can get everything watch behind me Black Rose, Vaptasia, Heisenberg, uh, Serendipity, BDV Projects. And there's a poll going up tomorrow. Strawberry is good. For in the <clears throat> uh, Facebook group. For the community to vote on five, five flavors, which I'll pick the three that the community vote on, and I'll get those in. But I won't tell you who they're from yet. That's be, that will be announced tomorrow. Yeah. So, is there a discount code they can use at the moment? Yeah, ten okay. percent uh, off. And for every pound you spend, you get ten p rewards. So, if you spend thirty pounds, you get. Three pounds rewards, which you can add to the put on your checkout the next time you buy. And I am so exhausted with it, but I've, I've never worked so hard in the last couple of weeks. There you go. So <laughs> do go over and support him. Do go over and support him, Goosey. If you do want some of the um, flavors that you didn't think you'd be able to get, like shy talks, where you got to get on Facebook groups um, or contacts, thing. We stop putting things in fucking chat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> also, there's Amatorium up there, the last of the Amatorium stock. These, it's, gone, it's gone. It is, and it's Stop. a good price at the moment. So when it is gone, it is gone. So if you do want to try some of the Amatorium, some Comfudge, um, and some... <laughs> it has been resurrected. <laughs> Country it has been resurrected temporarily. Called Glamour yeah. Grimges. Yeah, Grimges, yeah. yeah. One of uh, Grim's favourite e-liquids of Glamour. ever. Which is uh, Grimges, that's what we call it now. She has some right there. Which is Glamour. Um, so go over and mm-hmm. check it out and uh, pick them up. Right. We will go around and say our goodbyes. Oh, yeah. We will start with Vic. Uh, big thanks for having me on, folks. I'm, 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 I'm nowhere near the level of mixing as any of you lot. And anyone who's watching this, because ESIG 101... It's a slow burn series of videos. You're probably going to get people popping in like two, three, four months from now that I've watched it. Anyone that's popping in again, like I said, and like everyone here has said, don't be scared. Well, apart from the 72 milligram wear gloves, but everything else, don't be scared. It's easy. If I can do it and botch up like I just did in this live show and actually come (laughs) up with a pretty damn good juice, fucking strawberry's good. Give it a week though and see what the custard turns out like. But if I can do it, anybody can Anybody can. Thanks for having me on, Benny and folks. Lovely. Yes. Are you passing oh, on? Moving on. Uh, advocate, over to you. Um, I'll be on uh, Golf TV Vapes channel tonight. Later tonight, there should be a new song release, uh, a jingle from uh, a show jingle. A TV theme song. Tonight. TV theme song. And then um, Saturday's show is going to be... Um, doing my Saturday show this week where hashtag AFL if you want to play along make a recipe for either uh, a cocoa recipe or a Christmas coffee recipe coffee. And I will pass coffee. it to Lady Liberty in case I forgot something <laughs> um not that I'm aware of Christmas coffee to, on Saturday or hot chocolate and then eggnogs or milkshakes Christmas milkshakes on Tuesday uh, other than that, yeah, thanks for having me on again. 
I'm glad Oops. I didn't have to make some more cherry cough drops because <laughs> I'll never forgive you for guys like that. And I'll pass it to Graham. Okay, cheers everyone. That was really fun. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, we'd screw it up for him. Damn. <laughs> Uh, okay, you can catch I us on Saturday on uh, the Real Saturday Show, or uh, with Pugs and Nevs and all that lot, and go over and give us some support if you want to pop over to Vape Gems and pop over to Monkey on Juice as well. And if you need any help with mixing, Monkey on Juice on Facebook, and I'll be there. And if quite happily to do a one-on-one -on -one with you if you want to start learning and i promise not to make you spend too much money I'll pass it back no, no, that's a lie that's a lie <laughs> it is a lie oh. i'll pass it over to liam hi uh thanks everybody in chat been great as always been a really really fun show thanks for coming on vic <clears throat> and <clears throat> If anyone wants to have a look at my uh, recipes, including uh, the one that uh, Vic did earlier on, it's on my ELR as uh, Sherlock Holmes. And uh, yeah, Graham was lying about spending money because he can't catch me on flavors. He's actually got me on. He's he's actually got me spending money on computer parts. <laughs> right, so okay. I will now pass it. I'll pass it back to Benny. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everybody joining. Chat's been absolutely fantastic. You do keep the show going with asking your questions and chipping in bits and pieces. Thank you very much for Vic for coming on. Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you very much, Lady Liberty, for joining us again tonight. Much appreciated. Thank you to my fellow casters for joining me week in, week out. It is always a thing. I don't know why Hanky's put a picture of a horse with a mouse frozen in time. Vic waves to Hanky and cum face. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you very much, Mr. Anchor, for joining us. Um, do catch Tim on every DIY show that you can think of. Just type in DIY e-liquids on uh, mixing on the YouTubes and you'll see him on there. Do go over and watch DX. Um, not DX if you do want a little bit of info on flavours. Do go over and watch him on a Saturday and on a Tuesday with Lady Liberty and get some ideas of what mixers will be doing on there. You can find us again here on Wednesday, same time, same place. Don't forget to join the Facebook group, Monkey on Juice, and hit these lads up for a little bit of one-on-one -on -one mixing if you need to. So we'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, all. Graham, I'll save you my bullshit. <laughs>